Hey everyone, this is Dr. Spencer Zimmerman. So I help individuals with concussions and traumatic brain injuries get their lives back. Um, topic I wanted to tackle currently is concussions and PTSD, so post-traumatic stress disorder. I work with a lot of patients who are two, five, even 10 years out and even longer from these concussions and traumatic brain injuries. Now, often some of the most frustrating things for them is they will go to a neuropsych appointment and they are diagnosed with PTSD and are told that PTSD is the reason why they've got their headaches and their brain fog, issues with sleeping, mood changes, forgetfulness, and many of those other very common concussion and TBI symptoms. Now, I don't think of concussion and, T and PTSD as exclusive things you know, where you have PTSD, it's going to give you all the other symptoms. Um, there actually tends to be much more of an overlap. For many people, the PTSD either comes from events in their childhood or it comes from that event that caused the concussion and TBI. Now, what happens with a concussion and TBI is the part of your brain that's you that should say, okay, not really a big deal. Um, it no longer is able to do its job right. And so it lets things to go to the part of the brain that's responsible for fear and aggression. So now every time an event gets brought up or a certain smell or whatever that trigger is, now you get this adverse response. And when you look at concussion and PTSD combined, they each really do feed off each other and make each other worse. And that's where the examination is so key in saying what symptoms and what type of improvement do we believe you will make based upon your concussion and which side and how much do we expect on the PTSD? Because really PTSD labeling it as a psychological based issue. I don't actually like saying that um, because there's just such a bad connotation with it. Whereas in reality, PTSD is a neurological based issue. Once again, it is a neurological based issue. It occurs because your brain is no longer connecting right. Once again, the part of the brain responsible for fear and aggression becomes more dominant. Um, you know, it, it's wiring wrong. It's, it's not just a neurochemical problem. It's actually a wiring problem. And so dealing with PTSD is about rewiring it. And the same thing is true with helping people with concussions and traumatic brain injuries. So if you are dealing with concussions or traumatic brain injury and also deal with PTSD, um, proper testing really lets you know which one or how the blame should be apportioned. I get plenty of patients where their concussion TBI is actually about 60 to 70% of the reason. And then the PTSD may be another 30 or 40%. And it really varies though. And that's where we let the testing tell us what you need. And with the right testing and the right approach, results are seen that are not seen when only the favorite system is picked up or the favorite diagnosis is treated. So I hope this helps someone. If it did, please give us a like, share, or comment, or tag a friend. All right, till next time.